killer. Well, this week was pretty hard for me to fucking try to want to watch Boruto this week because I didn't initially watch the episode, but I was on Twitter, I was scrolling through my timeline, and then I saw some people saying shit like nothing happened, I'm not even going to bother posting a fucking review on the episode just because nothing happened. And at first I was like, well, come on, like, there, like there's no way like nothing happened. And... Yeah, nothing, nothing really happened, and it's not that it was like entirely bad, because it was like okay, but nothing really honestly happened. So the plot of the episode is in the beginning, it starts off with Enogen creating copies of some drawings for the Super Beast Scroll, and they don't end up working because he tries them out in a sparring match against Choji. You know, for the Ina you know, Shigacho trio and bullshit, right? So it, it kind of progresses, progressively moves on to Sai kind of trying to give hints to Enogen, saying, like, it's not about if something is good or bad, it's about, like, the emotion that you kind of put behind the drawing and the fact that if it's fun or not, whatever. Whatever it's supposed to mean, right? So the episode kind of just continues on with that, and it's just. Enogen kind of just wondering what he wants to do because initially he he is convinced by Sai to enter in a competition, right? He's like, why do I need to enter in a kid's art competition, right? Uh, he loses, and the winner was actually Himawari. Uh, Himawari won, and Enogen's confused because he's like, I don't understand why... Uh, why she won because the drawing was bad and his was better in in his opinion right and inside was like it's not about that like the, in, the like the pictures actually you know the drawings actually really fun or whatever whatever the fuck he fucking says I don't care <laughs> so s stuff happens he's like yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna stop drawing now I'm gonna focus on the mind transfer jutsu uh, like my mom's jutsu and stuff uh, it just gets in his on, it backfires, they do more sparring with him trying to do the mind transfer jutsu, it doesn't work because he doesn't fair, he doesn't use it very often from what we've seen, and yeah, and kind of he kind of just loses, right? So he's there, he's bitching, he's complaining, and then we literally get the best part of the fucking episode, Himawari, like the whole time Himawari is just the best part of this fucking episode, and that that's it. Right, so she ends up being like the, t the teacher for the day, kind of like for like, like they have like this whole like part in the school in the academy, uh, showing uh, how to basically draw at least decent so that way you know you can like sketch out a map or a person for one of your nin ninja missions in case you ever really need it. Right, and so they brought in Himawari for whatever fucking reason. Doesn't really matter in my opinion because it still was the best part of the fucking episode. Um, so Inogen is convinced that he needs to go fucking ask Himawari to be his sensei. <laughs> Himawari sensei, you know. So she's saying some stuff. It's fucking adorable. It's cute. And then her fucking drawing gets flown away because Inogen tries some stupid shit. Uh, they go after the drawing, it's about to fall in some water, uh, Enogen's like, ah, oh, I gotta fucking do some shit, I gotta put the feelings and emotion behind it, and then, obviously, he starts using the Super Beast Scroll, and he creates a fucking bird, flies, gets the drawing, and then, yay, it's, it's, it's all happy now, yeah. And that's it. <laughs> Nothing nothing else happened. No, nothing else happened. It's whatever. Um, they have actually this one scene at the final uh, part of the episode, after the credits actually, and it shows that Himawari showed the picture that actually won Himawari the contest. And her, Naruto, and then a couple of the flowers in the picture were actually, were actually gone. And Inojin was like, oh fuck, I did this shit because of my Super Beast scroll. 
Imawari just didn't fucking care because she was like, "Yeah, let's have fun and draw. I can always draw another one, and my dad will be all, will be all impressed and stuff. It doesn't matter." And yeah, it was it was cute. So whatever. <laughs> that's that, that that that's it. Nothing else happened. Uh, was it fun to watch? At least, yeah, it was fun to watch. I I just wasn't really interested in watching the whole time after a certain point. So whatever. I guess I'll, I guess I'll take the time and go ahead and just uh, thank thank you all for the amount of support that I got on the my thoughts on Screw Attack Naruto versus Ichigo Death Battle. Uh, it's got like over it's got well over like a thousand views, uh, almost twenty likes, and uh, a lot more comments than I get than I get normally. You know, and I feel like all that is really due to just people having a popular opinion. So, yeah, but whatever, it's not really that big of a deal. I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys my thanks for, you know, enjoying the video if you did. And if you enjoyed this video too, even though there's literally nothing behind it, I hope, I hope you did enjoy and I hope you do leave a like and I hope you honestly do subscribe if you do enjoy the person behind the mic, but whatever. Uh, I'll probably be back with another video. Uh, I don't really have any video ideas uh, coming to mind right now, so you'll probably just see me in the next Dragon Ball Super review. But either way, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you have all a fucking fantastic day. I screwed that up. Whatever. I'll see you guys in the next one, and I'm out.